Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Grams from Japan, where we wrap up all the social media activity from the past 7 days of Rugby World Cup 2019. Well, it wasn't the result the boys were after in the weekend, going down to England and Yokohama, but the All Blacks were gracious in defeat, still taking time out to bow to the Japanese crowd, congratulate England and share a beer with them in the changing sheds afterwards. The nice thing was, like... Uh some of their guys came into our shed and and our coaching group went down to their shed and, and shared a beer. So. Skipper Kieran Reid put things into perspective when he got back to his hotel room after the match. You know, it was my birthday yesterday. Get back to the hotel room and, um, you know, there's cards for my kids, you know, waiting for me, so... It changes things, puts things in perspective. Players got the chance to catch up with their families for the first time in over a month and take time out to thank their fans for their loyal support. Earlier in the week, the players caught up with the boys from 660, Sevo Reese giving them a run for their money. And how awesome is this? Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods sharing a moment talking about the World Cup on the putting green during their tournament in Japan. Yep. So we're on the 10th New Zealand play England, South Africa play Wales. It's the two semi-finals. How long are they here for? But it's onwards and upwards now for the All Blacks, who have one more match to go against Wales in Tokyo on Friday night. They're back on the grind and ready for one last hurrah in 2019. So I'd like to play this game with this crew one more time. will be awesome. It's a little bit of a chance to finish the year on a better note. We want to put in a performance that we're proud of. We'll catch you next week for our final episode of Grams from Japan where we wrap up the tournament following the bronze match between the All Blacks and Wales and the final between England and South Africa.